algorithms are nothing new. They've been making our life easier for centuries. And subscribe now to the History of Mars and the YouTube channel, What Makes It Tick. An algorithm is a method. The Greek meta odos. Odos means the way. An algorithm is a way to do something. If you want to bake a cake, what do you do? You follow a series of steps. You take eggs and flour, and then you cook and you mix, etc. And at the end, you have the cake. This is an algorithm. Of course, one of the simplest ones. But that's what we do all the time. Imagine I want to know the day of the week I was born. I'm born 27 May 48. Which day of the week was it? How should I do? I have a method. Okay, I go, it's 71 years, but some years are leap year. And finally, I got the answer. I'm born on Thursday. It's not that difficult. But if you compare with the cake, this has have different alternatives. Another example from the logic. Imagine a room, two doors, two switches, and only one light bulb. You have to allow each people coming this side, coming this side, to switch on. So you need a piece of electronic. If it's on, the switch will off, etc. Not too difficult. But this algorithm has nothing to do with mathematics, it's logic. My next example will show a new element, efficiency. Because in simple example, you just have one way to get the answer. But imagine now I have a, a stack of thousand cards with names. And I'm asked to sort the cards by alphabetical order. You immediately realize some methods are more efficient than others. Probably the least efficient way to do is to take the first one, okay, and then the second one, okay, and I do the third one, and on and on and on, and on thousand times. That's not efficient. Probably it's much more efficient first to sort only by the first letter, all A's, all B's, all C, and then you sort here and there, and then you put together. Definitely in this example, you have efficient methods, efficient algorithms, and that's the next step of thinking about algorithms. But so far, all the examples I gave, you are sure to get the answer. I'm born on Thursday, and the cards are sorted by alphabetical order. There is a 100% guarantee to reach the result. Of course, today, the algorithms we're talking about are not 100% guaranteed because they are so sophisticated. If you take, for example, face recognition or self-driving cars and all those kind of algorithms, they are not pure mathematics. They include another way to think about data, and this is called model. Imagine I want to make a weather forecast. Sunday, next Sunday is going to be sunshine. This is not the outcome of a formula. It's the outcome of a given model. And today's algorithm we're talking about with the internet are more of this nature. In the past, algorithms were a bit like machine. At each step, you knew exactly how the algorithm was working and you can nearly follow the machine following the algorithm. Today, we don't know exactly how those complex algorithms are working. I think today, an algorithm is a bit like a pill, an aspirin, for example. If you, whoop, you swallow a pill, an aspirin, you don't know exactly which molecule goes where into the body with which kind of impact. You just feel better because you took this aspirin. We are a bit in the same situation. The algorithm we, we use today, we don't know exactly how they work. We don't know exactly which path is followed by the machine. But in the end, just like with a pill, 
you realize there is a result and sometimes the result is tremendous. Next time we'll have a look at how the indivisibility of prime numbers forms the basis of encryption technology. Subscribe now to follow series The History of Mars in the YouTube channel What Makes It Tick.